What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am really glad you're here. Today we're doing episode 13 of our series, Hashtag Dear Diary. What is Hashtag Dear Diary? Hashtag Dear Diary is a chance for you to kickstart your Devo time with God. It's a chance for you to open up the Bible and read a psalm. It's usually less than seven or eight verses long. Read it on your own and then come here and talk about it with us. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I upload quick videos about life and God. So I do lifestyle videos like hauls, tutorials, stuff like that. And I also do videos about what it means to live your life for God. So let's get into today's episode. Grab your phone, pull up the YouVersion Bible app. It's a free download. Or like I say every time, if you don't want to use your phone, just grab your Bible, turn to Psalm 13, read it on your own. And when we come back, we're going to talk about what stood out the most to us. All right, now that you've finished reading it on your own, I want to read the verses that stood out the most to me. How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? So again, I look at Psalms as a lot like David's journal or diary. So picture David sitting there writing down what's going through his mind saying, how long shall I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart daily? The way he put that is a little different from how we would be talking today. I'm reading in the New King James Version, by the way, and I usually read in the New Living Translation. But basically, think about it like this. What is your soul? Your soul is your feelings, it's your thoughts, and it's what you want, your desires. David was basically saying, how long is my life going to revolve around the thoughts that are racing through my mind, around the emotions that just seem to consume me? He felt totally engulfed in his soul. Have you ever felt that way yourself? There's just thoughts racing through your mind and you can't seem to get a good night's sleep or you just want something so bad. Maybe there's a certain guy and you want to date him so bad, but he just hasn't noticed you or it's just not clicking and you're just kind of consumed with what you want and what you feel and what you think. David went through that, I've been through that, and if you haven't gone through that yet, I guarantee you're going to go through that at some point in your life. I love the example that David set for us here. His emotions were in his face. He was feeling overwhelmed, but he did not allow himself to stay that way. In verse 5, David wrote, But I have trusted in your mercy, God. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. He talked to himself, he took charge, and he said, listen, emotions, listen, thoughts, listen, feelings, be quiet and turn to God. God is full of mercy. There is salvation for me. I am not going to get discouraged. I am not going to be overwhelmed. I am going to trust in God at all times. Yes, you're going to experience emotions, and yes, God designed us to have emotions. But God did not design you to let your emotions be more in charge of your life than He is in charge of your life. When you feel overwhelmed, tell your soul, tell your thoughts, tell your emotions, tell everything to be quiet. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome and you rock. Make sure to leave in the comments below the verses that stood out the most to you and why. Or if something that I said really stood out to you, it's something you're going through, I would love to hear from you guys. I will see you guys on Tuesday with another video. Alright, bye.